Home Secretary. And I'm no longer the Home Secretary. Or you're just going to leave, just going to let them win. I'm finished. A record of a conversation, an MI6 asset in Islamabad, referring to something called Nightingale, connected to a group that met in Basel. The account that we found in DeWitt's, the $6 billion, it's a CIA account. Sarah was at the meeting in Basel. Walker was on his way to finding that out. He's dead. I need to talk to her. What is it that they're doing that needs $6 billion? Nightingale have operatives in intelligence services all over the world. It's the Nightingale account. All of the Nightingale money has gone to Pakistan. You're with them. They'll kill me, Lucas. It's you and me. Who are they? You have no idea how big they are. They are taking over. Goodbye, Lucas. Infiltrated the group. A Pakistani intelligence officer was stabbed in South London this morning. Dickie wants to talk. Dickie? Pakistani intelligence. Mother had a crush on Mountbatten. Hamid Ahmed, head of Pakistani Inter-Services Intelligence Division within the UK, a.k.a. Dickie Ros Myers. Pleased to meet you. So who killed your officer? And before you point your finger at the Indians, they are generally more nuanced. In the past, maybe, the far right in India is growing. The RSS, VHP, the leader of the Shiv Shena in Mumbai, has called for Hindu suicide bombers to target Muslims. Those organizations, they're nationalist movements. None of them have actually taken root outside of India. Are you saying that they're bringing the fight here? Times are hard in your country. Views becoming more polarized. 
Hindu-Muslim conflict in Asia is sending shockwaves here, and Britain's streets are fertile ground for violence. What was your man working on? An asset of his had infiltrated a group of Hindu nationalists over here. We've got no intelligence on this. Who is your asset? A student. Ashok Vikal. It's a Hindu name, but he's an Indian Muslim. So this Hindu group took Ashok as one of their own? Exactly. They are led by a young man, Harris Dillon. Dillon is planning some kind of terror event aimed at the Muslim community in London. And you didn't think we should know about this? There are two million Muslims in this country and over half a million Hindus. An event like this could precipitate the kind of unrest unseen on these shores since the English Civil War. Your asset is now ours. I'll have to brief the Home Secretary. Get the team together. Find out whatever you can about Harish Dillon. Do you think the six billion could be linked to the dead Pakistani intelligence officer? Let's keep an open mind, shall we? Sarah? Officially? Back at Langley. Unofficially? On the run. Could be anywhere in the world. No point asking cousins, because if she is Nightingale, anyone over there could be. Whoever this organisation are, they've got more reach, influence and financial clout than most nation states. Anything at Sarah's? We've been through the flood twice, there's nothing. Leave it. We have a situation. Secretary. Sir Harry, great to meet you. How are you? Please, take a seat. Thank you. They, uh, they said it was urgent. It is, rather. We believe there is a high-profile attack being planned on the Muslim community in this country. This can't happen. And the pressure the country has been under over the past two years has exposed its fault lines. If an attack like this were to be allowed to take place... It won't be, Home Secretary. No. No, not if everything my predecessor told me about you and your team is true. Well, he's a generous and a good man. Then neither of us believe he was corrupt. Good. So, who's planning this attack? The, uh, the far right? Not as we know it. Then who? Intelligence have given us this man, Harish Dillon, British born, 32 years old, graduate, sold on his own small IT company last month, got himself a job as a manager of a sports centre. A couple of arrests in his early 20s for violent assaults, both on Muslims. Got a temper, man. Yeah, Dillon's flirted with extreme nationalist views since he was a teenager, but now he's developed into a full blown extremist. But it was the beating of his 12 year old sister group of Muslim youths two months ago in Wimbledon that appears to have pushed him over the edge. But she's still on life support. It's touch and go whether she'll live. What do we know about the man that killed the Pakistani intelligence officer? Victor Chatterjee, mid-level operative for hire. More of a facilitator slash organiser than the kind of man to get his hands dirty. He's also a bit of a, a linguist and self-styled intellectual. Hindu or Muslim? Actually Protestant. He's Anglo-Indian. The chameleon moves with ease between various religious, ethnic and linguistic groups, both on the subcontinent and within the South Asian diaspora. All things to all men. Not for much longer, by the looks of it. Onlookers in the market say they heard a shot. Have we checked A&E's? Yeah, and the quacks. Have the police go over the area again. He can't have got far in that state. 
What is that in his hand? It's a bark nook, a tiger's claw, traditional Indian weapon in use since medieval times. You don't see